could just want. It was like impossibly difficult <laughs> for us to die there. The Gremlin Nod fight went abysmally poorly, and then uh, that. I guess we could have not had footwork, really. Maybe the Gremlin fight could have gone worse. Like if Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Footwork were the bottom three cards of the deck, instead of just Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch being in the bottom two. Yeah, that was pretty shit. Alright. Molten Egg didn't do very much for us there. Hexaghost. Hey, it's not the slime. Uh, when it's Hexaghost, you get to like do whatever you want in the act. That's great. Like, a huge amount of what just happened was because I was forced into building a deck that could fight slime. But Hexaghost? Like, just need one card, basically. Take finisher, immediately remove strike. It's questionable. It does seem questionable. Oh, he was dead. Finisher is too powerful. I underestimated it. Dagger throw. Seems great. Have to do math. Sitting for 18 plus 9, it's not enough. Endless Agony, it's a really good card here. Strength pot, take a fight. Three elites is the best we can do. There's nothing exciting here at all. Maybe just save for... Oh, we can go to this store as well. My favorite silent skill, Cloak and Dagger. One way to pick purity, basically wouldn't. I've put it in my deck with Dead Branch before, I think. But I didn't pay for it, I got it from uh, an event, I'm pretty sure. It seems terrible for us. <laughs> um, damn. Getting finisher there would have been very nice. Alright. 
How many agonies do we want? I'm okay with holding on to one here. Turned out okay. No potion. Oh, we absolutely smashed that and got a paper crane. Okay. Crippling Cloud applies weak to all enemies. Deal. Vajra, oddly smooth stone. Which one do we like more? Probably Vajra against Texagost and Act 2 Hallway fights. Also take a glass knife. Sort of like a Vajra. Vajra with finisher as well. Looks like a perfect gremlin knob. Lol. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, another endless agony. It's okay. This is a good upgrade. Deals another 18 AoE damage. I think that's a good upgrade. Man. This shit again. Given how valuable weak is, uh, Crippling Cloud is certainly good in this deck. Hexagust, so it's fine to take damage. Twenty-seven. Oh. Just dead. Pennib is nice. Adrenaline is ha, pretty nice too, I would say. The only way this fight can go really bad for us is if we get wizarded. We're going to be weak after this. Still, we have so much damage. Finisher plus is an extra two damage per thing. Per strike.
Um, Terror is okay right now. It's Texagist. Still don't want it. Might upgrade a defender, survivor, or something. Terror is a really good card. No, it's not. It's like a mediocre attack focused card, which doesn't interact properly with Pendib or Finisher or Vajra. I think Adrenaline Plus is going to be a good upgrade in this deck, but it is not very good for this fight. Agony Plus isn't that bad. Kind of upgrade terror. Terror is five times stronger than Pendub. They did the math. Oh my god. That was not intentional. <sighs> Alright. Terror has shown up halfway through the fight. Nice to see you, Terror. Thousand Cuts and Venom Doppelganger. See, a Thousand Cuts is a much, much, much better way to make your cards deal more damage than Terror is. But now I have a Terror in my deck, and Terror doesn't interact with a Thousand Cuts. And so I'm, like, stuck. Sort of. We have no block in the entire deck, by the way. Might have to not take anything. This deck would have murdered slime. It would have done okay, probably. Terror is better than Pendiv. Oh my god. This <laughs> like It's like you you like threw the dart at the target and it like bounced off something 15 feet to the left of the target and like arced back and landed in your foot. That's that's my opinion of that analysis. You're having trouble working out why terror is bad here. Because it doesn't interact in any way with poison or relic damage or power damage. Like the only thing it interacts with is attack damage which is the lowest source of damage silent has and it doesn't work against things with artifact charge. It doesn't work against, like, AoE enemies. There's just, like, one incredibly narrow situation where Terror is, like, one damage for, or one energy for 30 damage or something. And in every other situation, it's just bad. Okay, 
I think Adrenaline is better than Black Lotus. Um, I don't think Black Lotus is in the game. I guess Vajra and Pendeb are both actually relic damage that Terror does scale with. Thousand Cuts interacts worse with a good finisher than Terror does. Yeah, but our deck is going to die in a hallway fight where it doesn't draw block cards. Like. <laughs> The current deck that Thousand Cuts doesn't interact with very well is not a deck that can win the game. So the fact that it doesn't interact well with this deck is not really, like, I'm gonna take it anyway. Oh my fucking god. At the end of your turn, no longer discard your hand. I'm gonna try Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid Finisher with Pennib. I don't have high hopes. Don't have particularly high hopes. Probably dead. We have like Happy Flower? Nope. Sure don't. Alright. Probably dead. Got the courier. Let's hit up that store. Behold my terror. Yeah. Take one. Very strong. Um, so, I don't know if I play Strike or not. Probably. Probably just have to use the energy. Pyramid is the worst relic in the game. That's a little much. I mean, it's not good. That's for sure. Worst relic in the game, though? I don't know about that. Let us do that. Backstab plus. Okay. Backstab's 32, so I could kill one right now. Or we can wait. try to hit finisher and kill everything. I'm gonna wait one turn. I don't really see a huge downside to waiting one turn. How do we... How do we kill them? Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have played this deck. This is too difficult. <laughs> so finishers are going to hit for... We can make it hit for 54. No, we couldn't. We can make it hit for... Hell. 27 plus 13 is 40. We can make it up for 40. If we terror. Endless agony, agonist agony. Endless agony. It doesn't seem like it works. So I think finisher hits for... 
Finisher obliterates one of them and we terror the other. And I think that works. Okay. Not bad, actually. These cards seem bad. Give away a thousand cuts for 10 HP. Man, there are some bad cards in this deck. <laughs> um, I think we sort of want a thousand cuts. Give away a strike, maybe. 10% damage increase, by the way. Yup. Yeah, I knew I had Pendiv. I was just wondering if Finisher dealt so much damage that we wanted to... Tend of the backstab instead. That's what I was doing math on. Unload. Is that like good here? Do we want to be able to discard all of our non-attack cards sometimes? I don't know. I'm inclined to go slice footwork, remove a strike. How do I kill that? I don't. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> well, at least at least we're all on the same page, right? I don't even know if I kill the elite. I'm about to fight. Fumes. I don't think so. I think it's too slow. Hello. Hi. Um... Yeah, about that. Are there any colorless cards that are good? Flash of Steel? I have to look at the colorless cards. Inspire colorless cards. Jax, can he give you Jax? Bandage up, ew. Blind, ew. Dark Shackles, eh. Deep breath. Not very exciting. Most of these are pretty bad. All right, we don't want colorless cards. I'll just take the nine. No big deal. It's a good day. Ooh, I wish I had noxious humes right now. Why not take the gold? Um, he doesn't let you leave until you... Uh, he doesn't let you leave until you, like, go to the door. So you always have to pay 9 health to get out of that event at some point. Does that answer your question? So, like, I, I didn't want to do that and then be stuck. That makes sense. We're we way away from uh, Pen-Nibbed Finisher. Next turn it could happen. We hold the Endless Agonies. We have to kill the guy who's weakening us though. And then I have to work out how much damage it deals. The stuck, fuck. So we have five, six. 
would be the seventh card. Fuck. We're going to be weakened, though. We have to fire potion him, I think. Because seven times a lot is a very large number. That would kill. So we fire potion this guy. Seven times a lot. <laughs> yeah. Seven times a lot is uh going to do some good work for us next turn, I think. Oh, we could have Artifact Potion the weak as well. That's a good point. That was not close. He was... <laughs> he was dead by about 150 or so right there. I guess the problem with the Artifact Potion was that we took damage still. Did we? I don't remember. Flying knee, deadly poison outmaneuver. Pass. Can we just be taking elite fights? Does that happen in the other ones too? I don't think so, right? No, there's no way. I didn't take damage. Oh. Flying knee is fine. Feels a little bit slow. Uh, okay, we got our Endless Agonies early. That's really good. I don't entirely understand what's going on in this run right now. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. <laughs> I, I cannot imagine any universe in which we should not be dead at the moment. Dash is a good card. Can we take a dash? I think we can take a dash. Kill him? That's nibbed. Ah, he's done. Like I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is... I'm pretty sure not a duck that can possibly would. I look forward to finding out why. Masterful Stab is Runic Pyramid hard mode. Yeah, I'm not sure about Masterful Stab here. I think now that we have the Sneko Skull and we're through the Elites, we do take Noxious Fumes. Is Prepared Plus good? Prepared Plus might be really good. Because it discards irrelevant cards that we don't want anyway, and digs toward Finisher. Um, my issue right now is, like, we will eventually come to a fight where we have to kill more than one enemy. Yeah, I think not just GMs. Their endless agony. Funny. Bag of Preparation looks really good here, right? I think so. There was a kunai in that store. 
Can we just kill this? I feel like we can. Give me this relic. Careful about the wounds. Ten, twenty one. Kill this guy, right? Twenty seven. Let's dash. Oh, we have that going on, right? Well, I was not very efficient with my damage, but that works. Dodecahedron is very uh, ambitious. Bullet time. I mean, the way that that would work is pretty clear, right? It could be strong. Yeah, we already have a bunch of zero costs. That's the problem with it. It's probably just a dead card we have to draw. I'm going to take another elite fight. We have to count. We just assume he's dead, right? Uh, I'm just gonna assume he's dead. <laughs> I. Pretty sure you're dead. Maybe we didn't quite get there. No, that was I actually exactly <laughs> lethal. <laughs> Alright. Malaise. Malaise isn't good in this elite fight though. Or boss fight. The score of this run. Well, I don't know. You don't get that high a score for dying to the Act 2 boss, unfortunately. So I'm not super worried about that, I guess. <sighs> Malaise with Paper Crane. That makes sense to me. Do we try to kill him? 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have saved that and tried to kill him next turn. Kenibbed finisher for five. If we got the terror through. How would we get the terror through? Noxious fume. If we try to kill him. Convinced adrenaline was worth using there. Yeah, maybe not. Well, we sure drew all the cards. Shard sure did drew all the cards. What happens if we don't kill him? We just die. <laughs> That'll be fun. I mean, I don't kill him, right? I'm not actually particularly close because my pendant is in the wrong place. I might have to bail. <laughs> if we just kill the adds, we're okay, I think. Forty-eight plus nine plus nineteen is sixty-seven. And this is times six. Thirteen times six. <laughs> We're miles away. Okay. We want to let them steal those cards. Like, we don't want to kill them right now. We want them to steal the cards and then die to fumes so that we get the cards. I think we're completely fine. Take a little bit of damage. No big deal. They have a thousand cuts plus and an endless agony for us. Thank you. Too kind. Yeah, like we. This guy only attacks every other turn. And we have. Um, thingamajig. Paper crane. Shouldn't be an issue. Gonna get clogged. End of next turn, and he's dead. Is he? Are we that close already? I don't know. I discarded all the cards that I'd need for that, so. Whoops. dead anyway. You mean to tell me that you were misleading me? Tuba! Please. Grand finale. Doppelganger burst. Burst malaise. Burst terror. Burst crippling cloud. 
I mean, if burst isn't good in a runic pyramid deck, I don't know where it's good, right? Is doppelganger good? I'm just gonna get our handful. Burst adrenaline. Lol. <laughs> oh my god. Um... No, personal ways works the way that you want it to work. I mean, I'm not sure that we can actually, you know, win with it, but... Arari and look for energy, I guess. Seems like the only thing we can do. Prepared might be good. Alright, so we have an escape plan. Can you, like, use that to escape from the run, or...? I have to pick backstab, footwork, or noxious games. I wish I could take all three of these, and, like, the other ones were better. Hey, Rukin! I have a Bomo show to you as well. Thank you very much for ten months in a row. Much appreciate all the support. Glad you're enjoying the show. Well, we can take escape plan. Time meter might actually be one of the only people we can beat, so that's fine. Yeah, burst malaise against him is good, right? Those ones seem bad. This is between backstab and footwork, I think. With this much energy, I think it has to just be footwork. That one's a no. This one's a prepared. Alright, Paper Crane. I've heard you're good. Fighting the Awakened one. You have to kill that one twice. That's gonna be tough to do. Uh, Forced Elite. Let's hit this store. Rest. And campfires the rest of the way, basically. Flying knee might be okay. Hmm? Okay. Problems. Burst, defend. I think I meant to survivor here. Eh. Don't know. All right, we kill this turn. We try to kill this turn. We see what happens. Oh, that happens. Abort! <laughs> Abort! Problematic.
Whoa, I have more energy still? It's nice. Alright. <laughs> Is killing with backstab finisher? Really? Surprising to me. This is fine. I don't really see how we took damage with this line, so I'm okay with missing lethal, missing lethal on the finisher. This ends us in a better place anyway, Pendab's really close. Phantasmal Killer. On your next turn, your attack damage is doubled. Uh... Okay. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's just dead. Strike, backstab, strike, finishers for 30 something. He's vulnerable. So backstab's like 48. It's really close. Oh, I don't want to have to do this math. So 10, 58, 68. Plus, yeah, it's dead. Phantasma Killer in a 30 card deck is 16.66% more damage. Did you consider that I only draw four cards a turn though? Because I think that's important here. Is backflip good? Don't know. How do we beat the elite? With like Phantasmal Killer? Is Noxious Fumes good? Not against the Awakened One, I don't think. Maybe it is. Are we fighting Awakened One? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we can get a good relic with Courier. Kazar, how you doing? Hope you're having a good Friday. Or Saturday, maybe. Friday? Backflip's at worst to defend, right? It's not actually that bad a card in this deck, I don't think. Nope.
So we can just block and keep our pen nib. Is three a good place for it? I don't know where our pen nib should be. I feel like four is better than three. Seems a little bit more reachable. Leg sweep in a pen nib deck. Or in a paper crane deck. Probably. I'm iffy on that one. Well. I might take another endless agony. Hold on. Still can't buy that. Alright. I joked about Crippling Cloud Burst Pure to destroy my opponent. I wasn't joking. It's a strong play. I was not joking. <laughs> um, Ness is actually alright here, right? We go Endless Agony Finesse. Card remove. On a... Defend, maybe? Better to leg sweep, backflip, and a finesse. The quantum jump! I forgot to get three more gold. Yeah, I know. Whoops. My bad. Silly me. Ooh. All right, well, I put Pendib at six. Is that actually wrong? Maybe I needed it at five. So that I could... Fuck, I don't know. All right, math time. Who doesn't love some good math? God. Math, math was just a great idea. Whoever was in charge of inventing that one, thank you. Thank you so much. Pan nibbed finisher is going to single handedly kill one, right? Without even terror. We have five. So we'll be at 18 times five. So not actually. Very close though. We'll hit for 90. So if we hit one of these here, and then just do that. Not bad! <laughs> Math pyramid. Yup! Math is too difficult. Did I pick that up? We end up with... Anytime I draw Endless Agony... Huh. I mean, I have Finisher in my starting hand and Backstab, so it kills anything. But doesn't my starting hand overflow? I think I'll take another Finisher. Get the feeling that that's sort of strong with what we're doing.
All right. My hand is full. I have a molten egg. Since when? What? Okay. Um, yes. The starting hand deals quite a lot of damage, doesn't it? Is there a reason to play this? I don't know. I clicked it. Oh, I guess we have to kill the spiker somehow. Footwork finesse. All right, your turn. Seem like I came out of U Dub or Harvey Mud. I'm a college dropout, man. <laughs> I went to the University of Washington, though. I left college to play poker professionally. In my junior, senior year, junior and a half year, something like that. I was a classicist. I don't know if what I just did makes any sense at all in this fight. It seems like most of the things we can do end up working fine though. Probably. I don't know. I can relate somewhat to that tuba. 22. Okay. Sucker Punch Plus. It's more weak application. I feel like our weak application is pretty bad right now, but we do have a potion. We've got a malaise. Still, our week is so good. Should take that, I think. Hey Smurf, how you doing? Graduating this week with your bachelor's. Nice. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and assume that we do this. Seemed like it wasn't that bad. Good, he's not dead. That's what I wanted, actually, for him to not be dead. And then we just take 
a bunch of damage. Yeah, no, that seemed ideal. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, wait. You're turning into a silent convert from watching the stream. I just love the decks that Silent ends up with. So many ways to uh to play. Do I want a Storm of Steel? It's the only way I can add attacks to my deck that don't upgrade right now. I don't know if I beat the Awakened one. Do I have a Lizard Tail? No. What do I have? An Arari and a Runic Pyramid. Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh my god. That's not good. That doesn't seem very good. Sneko Bouncing Flask is pretty good. I don't think we have enough energy for it. Um, I have to decide if I want this elite fight or not. See you, Medgarthus! Thanks so much for sharing your Twitch Prime with me. Agbo Moshu to you as well. Much appreciated. You just won on Ascension 11 with the absolute worst deck ever, but it turns out three times offering. Skeptical Jesus. If your deck had <laughs> three copies of offering in it, it probably wasn't that bad. I... I don't know. Having Runic do Decahedron active is so important, I think. And we can probably keep it for the first few turns. Yeah. I'm gonna bail. We've already seen Kunai this round. We're not gonna be getting Kunai. Now what do I do? I can take four. That's okay. I pen to backstab on him and he was vulnerable. That kills him, right? I don't need to attack them. Do I? Oh, three. I did actually. That was a really cool turn. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find ways to play Phantasmal. Energy pot. Uh, seems worse. Probably take a deflect. Okay, Runic Dodecahedron is my energy relic. Also, my hand is full. So, I guess I block pot this turn.
Take a hundred. There was a bit of overkill there, maybe. I don't know if there was some way around that. Rest in peace. Burst malaise. Still hits me. Okay, the game is afoot. I'm all right with you doing that, I think. I can footwork, it's fine. Not gonna terror this phase. Problem becomes, how do we get these cards out of our hand, <laughs> right? So like the prepared that we used was really nice. Because it got rid of these cards. I don't think we have trouble in this phase anymore though. It is really too bad that we didn't keep our energy. Let Noxus kill. Well, we are like getting attacked sometimes. And discard that and draw it again. We want to set up with like nine endless agonies and then a finisher. That's the goal. And then we just one shot next phase. Hey Dynamo! Thanks very much for this. 100 Wizards of Love. If only I had 30 shivs. Almost. Almost. Is adrenaline doing anything? It's getting bursted. Nice. I like it. Um No, not really.
We got our Phantasmal Killer, our Adrenaline. Our Terror. Our Finisher. Some zero cost stuff. Our Pendibs at one at the moment. Should probably be something else. I'm not sure what. I mean, like, six would be plenty, probably. Why do I have adrenaline in my hand? There's just no reason. This stuff doesn't cost that much energy. We're gonna have two finishers. So I can use Adrenaline to turn I go off. I know, but it doesn't do anything. Does two damage. Okay, touche. Okay, you are going to have a very bad time next turn. This, I do not imagine, will end well for you. I'm gonna deal like a thousand damage this turn. Oh, we didn't draw any attacks, that's too bad. So I have another... Let's see. It's going to be pen nibbed. The next one would have been pen nibbed. So the next one was dealing... 60... I had another, like, 380 extra damage. That was a very interesting run. <laughs> 420 damage. Are you shitting me? <laughs> 420 blazed. We have just toked the awakened one out of the spire. Three energy. What a run. That was cool. I liked that duck. <laughs>